as you mentioned before, this is trying to simulate exactly what uh, your eye sees. And indeed, uh, they have a feature called uh, pupil adaptation, where they calculate the luminance in the scene. And uh, just like you would uh, if you went from a, a bright environment into a dark environment, if you're outside and ran into a room, your pupil takes a little while to uh, sort of adapt to that. They've built that into this engine as well. It gives wonderful effects. Uh, they've got lots of nice um, reflective surfaces as well. So over here we have uh, like a mirror, uh, we have tiles, um, the trash can over here uh, is reflecting the rest of the, the room. Now that trash can obviously looks so real because it's somehow simulated in a physically, fi physically based ways. So that when light bounces off of it, you can almost feel the uh, steel that's, um, um, that it's made of. Absolutely, and you can see the water dripping down uh, in the back uh, there. And as we come along here, there's a, a more uh, sort of plastic uh, posters, uh, reflections again off the tiles. Uh, the quality of the textures is, is unbelievable. Um, this is real-time computer graphics, ladies and gentlemen, on a little mobile chip. Yeah, and it's <laughs> tiny. You mentioned uh, before Bumpy Shiny, you always have to have something shiny, so uh, this is a nice shiny pipe, whereas everything else in the scene is, is quite rusty and somehow this has managed to stay shiny. Uh, the final feature I'll mention uh, just briefly, you see here there's a, a light um, sparking and uh, they do some very clever things with particle effects and they actually put physics on the particle effects so that the sparks don't just fly through the wall and through all the objects in the scene they actually bounce off the wall and then you can see them uh, pull and they're them. actually lighting the environment and they are lighting, yeah, so there's right? a light kicking out and also the effects come down and then bounce around a little bit give a nice so they all become light sources and they cast shadows <laughs> you can just see it, it's fantastic it's just absolutely exquisite now these little tiny details is what increases the production value of games. And we see this with movies today. There are so many things that they do, the attention to detail, that they obviously don't have to do. They obviously don't have to do. But they do it because they want to create something that is exquisite. And you can just tell now, the engine makes it possible for them to do that. Okay, that's fantastic. Let's take a look at a couple things. Um, this is uh, another scene of the state of the art in mobile graphics today, and in fact, I think this is a game on iOS. Um, what we want to do is we want to show you. Um, you can just you can just tell this is a cartoon. It, it's lifeless. It's kind of dead. Uh, you you recognize the objects, but for some reason, it just doesn't tell you that it's alive. Now, what is the missing part that goes from this to reality? One of them, of course is the way that the lighting behaves. We know that light doesn't work like this, that there are um, uh, just subtle shadows and the reflections and the, and the way that, that light is, is occluded in the corners. And um, you know, those, type of, those type of effects our eyes are looking for, and when we don't see it, we know that it's not real. And so let's, um, let's take it to the, to the next demo. This is also running on Unreal Engine 4. And, um, uh, here we'd like to show you a couple of things. Uh, this is not a photograph. This is not a photo. This is not a photograph. We're in Vegas, so this is Frank Sinatra music. Okay. Now you can almost feel this room coming alive. Now this, what you're looking at is two very important technologies. One of them is physically based rendering. <laughs> Now, if that couch doesn't look soft, it almost looks like you could sit on it. I, I can almost imagine finding some quarters underneath it. Look how beautiful that is. The lighting of it is just incredibly exquisite. And then we're going to show you the second technology is global illumination. If you look at all the, the lighting around, everything is a light source. So light is bouncing around the environment and as a result, it's casting more than one shadow, and you're seeing soft shadows everywhere. And look at that wood floor. Wow. Does that look like wood floor? Unreal Engine 4, running on Tegra K1.